Andy. All right, so uh, welcome to uh, Hypothermia 101. Uh, I'm Matt Smeaton, I'll be your teacher today. So, uh, do you guys have any previous knowledge of uh, hypothermia here? I just know that it's mad burr. Yeah? It's very yeah. cold. Yeah, it's cold. All right, not so... Uh, prior knowledge, no. So, hypothermia is when your body temperature drops. Uh, currently, your body temperature is at like 35 degrees Celsius, and it drops to a point where your body functions start to shut down. And then, so, your... Uh, so there's different, uh, several different types of uh, hypothermia. There's mild hypothermia, where your body temperature would drop to about 32 degrees Celsius. So at that point, you would see some like mild shivering. Uh, the person obviously would um, uh, start losing some of their functions, as in like, uh, let's say if I handed um, you this belt, you wouldn't be able to do it up because you would, your brain would start slowing down. Um, and when we go into moderate uh, hypothermia, your body temperature then would again drop another three degrees, uh, in which um, you again lose more function and start to see more paleness in the body. So, uh, as your temperature, uh, as your skin right now is having the blood flowing through it, uh, hypothermia would end that, and you pretty much go ghost white, pretty much as white as this paper here. Um, and then there is finally severe hypothermia in which the body essentially just completely shuts down where it is your all your motor functions all your brain functions essentially stop and then at that case you're really in some trouble uh, some signs for hypothermia when you see it is there's uh, some shivering some chattering when you're trying to talk to the person they're not going to be able to speak to you they're going to start clicking their teeth a bunch of times uh, movements are slow, so when I ask you to, let's say, pick up this cup, you could, wouldn't be able to do it immediately as you normally are. You would have a lot of trouble doing it, and uh, you would start to see paleness, and sometimes you can see even um, discoloring in their toes. It changes to, to like a bluish color, or their lips can turn to a purplish color, color even. Um, so, uh, those are the stages of what hypothermia could be. So... The treatment of hypothermia, what you want to do is you want to immediately assess the situation. So uh, let's start with the example that someone has fallen through the ice. So in that situation, you would want to take them immediately, obviously, out of the cause of what it is, whether it be what, which is essentially the cold water. And so they're going to be doused in their clothes. And you want to st make sure that that you raise the body temperature back up without making it too sharp because that will essentially send the body into shock making the condition worse. Uh, so therefore, what you want to do is get them immediately out of their, the, the stuff that's causing, them, causing the hypothermia and get them into something dry. Uh, not too warm, but lukewarm, anything, doesn't really matter as long as it's dry and gets them out of their current situation, warms them up a little bit. Um, you also make sure that you are not mostly medical professionals, so therefore you want to call EMS on anything you can, get someone to immediately get them because without them, the person will have some damage uh, to their body. Um, and so in that situation, you just want to keep them dry and keep them out of whatever situation. So say let's they fell through the ice, you want to get them off of the ice and out to the shore, I guess and make sure that they're in a nice dry place until EMS arrives and is able to assess the situation after that. So, do you guys understand what I've been talking about so far? Yeah. All right, so uh, we'll do a little quiz here. Now, what um, hypothermia in the moderate stage, how much does their temperature drop? Um, 29, from 32 to 29 degrees. Yeah, there we go, perfect. And uh, Michael, what do you, what kind of signs do you see? Okay, we'll cover that up. What kind of signs do you see in that stage? Uh, like shivering, paleness, those type of signs. Okay. No, no movement. Okay, perfect. And, and uh, movement. Dave, can you name a situation in which you may see, um, or you may get hypothermia, uh, besides the example I gave to you earlier? Well, uh, it, 
It almost actually happened uh, to me one time when I was tobogganing at a friend's cottage and I actually fell through the ice to about waist deep mm. and it was freezing cold. It was probably negative three out mm -hmm. and I had to run back to the cottage and take all my wet crap off. And by the time I got there, the stuff had frozen and I mean, if I was out in the cold for a couple more minutes, I think I think things would have been different. So, yeah. perfect yeah. scenario right there. And uh, how do you think... Uh, besides hearing what he would do, what would you do in that situation if you saw Dave had fallen through the ice? Uh, probably just, uh, well, after hearing what you said, now I know what to do. Uh, just uh, get their body temperature up. Not too hot, but uh, just uh, lukewarm, warming it up a bit. Okay, All yeah. Right. And uh, so, um, lukewarm. so uh, let's say um, someone rushes out and they have a big pot of hot coffee that they want to give to Dave. What would you say to them? Would no. you just give it to them? No, that's way too hot. That would uh, further damage the body. Okay, perfect. So uh, I hope you guys have learned a lot. And uh, yeah. Uh, second part of the lesson where uh, Mike is going to be involved in some uh, real life examples. So right now we have Frank uh, on the bed. He is Timmy! just. Uh, <laughs> it, so, you he has just fallen in the lake, um, which is covered in ice. He uh, his temperature has dropped. He's his teeth are chattering. Uh, so uh, Mike here will uh, start out. So Mike, what is the first step you want to work on here? I need to get his clothes off. Yeah. And I need a blanket. Hold on. Okay, good. Now uh, his teeth are chattering. So, uh, you can clearly Give tell... some hot cocoa. No, no, the, the hot drinks are bad. It'll, it'll only cause further nerve damage. Alright, Mike, so... You're uh, doing well so far, um, but uh, what's one step... What do I do next, sir? Uh, what's the, the one step we were, we were learning about earlier in which uh, there's uh, some other services you may need some help with. Uh, they can come and give him some proper medical treatment. Oh, should I call 911? Uh, you may want to have your associate over here, uh, Dave. I've already got him on speed dial. Bert! Give him a call, Bert! Okay, so uh, that was great, Mike. Uh, you saved little Jimmy's life. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Alright. Out of point, Timmy.